So, uh, just a little bit about the book and stuff. People always ask me two questions. Uh, one is, why did you write that book? And it was because it needed doing. Um, this, this whole era was completely ignored, and someone, I, you know, someone had to do something about this. And, and in typical DIY spirit, <laughs> I picked up the spirit and I said, why don't I do it? And so I did. Um, and that was kind of what that moment of inspiration sounded like in my head. Uh, and, and so, but that's like what the bands did too. Those bands uh, needed to make music and no one else was going to do it for them. There were no major labels who were going to sign the Minutemen or Black Flag. And so they had to do everything themselves. They booked their own tours, um, often started their own labels, did everything themselves, and they were so driven. And a lot of these people are still making music right now. That's how driven they are. Um, so, you know, I invite you all, you know, if you're inspired to do something, don't wait for someone else to give you permission. Just do it yourself. So write a book, start a band, or start a vegan bakery, or a e you know equal start opportunity a law firm, or, you know whatever it is, <laughs> or make tofu. Uh, another thing that people ask me is, what do these bands have in common? The, the '80s bands and the bands that are on this bill. Well, um, they're making music exactly the way they want, with no compromise in the way that they want. And that's something that the 80s bands worked so hard, you know, blood, sweat, and tears shed to set up an infrastructure so the bands tonight can do their thing. And it, it didn't matter if they were, this, those bands tonight played loud and fast or soft and slow, it doesn't matter. The whole idea was to set up a structure where people could do exactly what they want. And, yeah. and you can do that too. Um, so that, that is incredibly key, uh, it's a very key idea, and all these people are doing exactly what they want.